Hi everybody and welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Katrina and this is Cat and Moon Budgets. Um, if you have never tuned in before, I have ADHD so I ramble. I go way off topic and on a tangent but my goal here is to bring fun and creativity back to budgeting and so this video is just going to be recapping what was supposed to have been the budget for my previous paycheck because I don't know if I ever posted that video. I really don't remember. So we're just going to start here and just start fresh because there have been some changes again. <laughs> um, so to start with, um, I'm not moving. I'm staying in the rental that I had with my boyfriend and we did break up for a couple weeks and then we did some talking and after I had stopped wanting to move, he had asked if me and my kids would want to go out to dinner with him. Um, I just got the feeling that he was really understanding and taking responsibility for what had happened that caused us to break up. And so it just, I can't keep punishing good people that treat me well if they made one mistake and it really was one mistake, but I have to give another chance for that to be determined kind of thing. So <clears throat> that's what's going on. I've had a cold, so I haven't been able to post a video or even record one because I haven't really had the energy or anything to do that. Um, so yeah, this is the last paycheck that I got with my job. Um, I budgeted out 1700 It was actually over 2000 so I had put the extra overtime amount from 1700 to 2093 I put that extra amount in moving. I have since pulled that money to make an extra two payments on my car um, since it's not happening anymore for reasons I won't share on here, but... Um, that's not going to be a thing anymore. So I'll have to update these sheets with um, what I was going to do and just kind of make it more accurate and include the spending from the last couple weeks because there has been all over the place kind of spending. Um, I did set aside money to pay the phone bill, the internet bill, um, the electric bill and set money aside for my water bill that's going to come due pretty soon. And then I just kind of guesstimated the totals for my variable spending that I had. Um, I will have to go through and tally up the amounts and then put them back down on that paper. But basically, over here has shown my last couple of weeks of spending and... Um, Things like Fazoli's and fuel reimbursement, um, an extra quick trip charge, Burger King. Like there were some things on here that were related to putting the moving in action. But after that, um, right here's another one. So money did get put towards it, but then I just took the rest of it and shifted gears a little bit. Um, so I paid my normal subs. I canceled some of them and then I had like a couple entertainment purchases come up. So like Steam, I bought Pal World because my son plays it on the Xbox and he gets it for free with the Game Pass there. And that just gives us something to play together, even though we're not playing at the same exact time or doing the exact same thing. It's the same game and that makes him happy. And it's honestly like a mix of survival with Pokemon. So it's kind of fun for me. Um, I'm still learning how to really play and move around and everything and see a point so I don't get bored with it. But so far it's going really well for that. And then um, I decided I wanted to take some finance classes just to kind of increase my knowledge for on here. And then I had to pay a couple extra stuff to get um, a friend's horse made because I ran out of yarn doing the pattern wrong the first time. The first pattern I had did not work out, so I got a new pattern off of Etsy, and then I got some new yarn because it was 25% off, so I saved $35 on my yarn, and then um, 
it's the really soft plushy kind so that was really pretty cool but I'm gonna make it a really cute horse and I will have to share it with you guys when I'm done but yeah that's pretty much all that's been going on um, it feels like a lot honestly just because everything kind of happened at once and then I got sick and it's just like one thing on top of another but yeah this video is gonna be really short um, I am working on creating some new things for the Etsy store too that are gonna be shippable options like scratch off and then create a printable version for you guys as well so I had some ideas come up and I just have to really get them out of my head and onto the paper how I want them to and figure out the sizing for it because one thing I've been seeing is 4x6, 5x7 and the A6 and A5 sizes are the most common for the scratch off. I just have to see what my printer can and cannot handle for the printing ability and then what kind of paper as well to print it on because I want it to be kind of thick but I might have to use like a thinner paper and then mount it onto like a cardstock if that makes sense but I'm figuring it out I'm messing around with it having some creative fun and all the while trying to get my shiz under control and figure out what the game plan is now for myself moving forward so if you guys like this video, please be sure to click the like button, subscribe. I'm trying to grow this channel, even though it may not seem like it. I am. I really am. Um, so yeah, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will catch you guys in the next video. Bye!